Welcome to my channel, Scorpio Inc. It's been a while, like what, seven days, eight days or something. I missed you guys, and I missed me too. It has been very interesting um, this past week. I think all of the planets have gone direct, so I'm really feeling it. That energy back in time. I hope you're well. Um, yeah, this is a daily vibe, but you know what I do, you know how I do. I'm going to do you versus them. Uh, and we're going to get into see what the fuck is up. Okay, so I'm going to pull overall energy, their feelings, your feelings, their next move, your next move, their desire, your desire, and a potential outcome. Oh, the lighting is so shit today. Uh, the weather is taking a turn for the worst. Uh, we're coming into autumn, so all the leaves are starting to fall, and you know, yada yada yada. And we are finally experiencing over here Omicron. Woohoo! Yes, so everyone's gonna get it. Get it? No pun intended. Oh my god, yes. I am in full swing. I think it's the coffee, but then again, it might not be. It might be the planets, and it might just be my mania. I don't know. <laughs> No! <laughs> Overall energy is five cups. That's crying over spilt milk. That's feeling bad about something that's happened and not really looking at the brighter side of things. Um, it could also be money loss. You know, it could be like, fuck, I haven't got enough money. I need some more money. And I totally get that because that's the kind of vibe that I'm in right now. It's not that I don't have enough. It's just that I want more. Um, it's also like... There's a loss of something, but there's also a gain. And and it's like, it's totally up to you whether or not you, you know, you see that there's an opportunity. There's still opportunity um, when there is a loss. So it could be for you, your person, but I, it's the overall energy. It's generally between you two. Um, one of you may feel like, oh, I've missed out, you know, I've missed out on my Scorpio. Or well, Scorpio, you're like... Oh, I must end on another one. Another one bites the dust. That's what I'm hearing. That Queen song. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Yeah, that song. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's get into it, guys. Um, your person's feelings. We get into your person's feelings. Two of Pentacles. Oh, your person is undecided. They're juggling. They're having to figure out what's good for them and what's not good for them. You're feeling Ace of Pentacles, Scorpio. You're like, ah, oh, fuck it. I put all that shit in the fucker bucket. I have seen those two cups. I I know they're there, and I am going to turn around and I'm going to take them and I'm going to start again. Good on you, Scorp. Your person's next move. Well, they're juggling something. Uh, they could have money issues because, you know, it's clearly there. They may be juggling jobs. They wanted me to take that. Did you see that? It didn't even come out. They just wanted me to take it. Queen of Wands. Your person's next move is just to be like... Queen of Wands is like very assertive, you know, ambitious, but she's also flirty, like, you know, like player energy, like I always get player energy with the King and the Queen, and the Page, uh, and the Knight, oh my god, all of those, um, but you know, your person's next move is to really speak up about what's going on in their life, why things are happening the way they're happening, they're gonna be very vocal, okay, uh, your next move, Scorps, Nine of Pentacles, saw that coming. Pure independence. That's like um it's taking it's it's like admiring yourself because you've taken control of what you're in control of. You're not trying to outdo anybody, you're not trying to do it yourself. You're like in your independence, you're like, mm, I got this, I'm just gonna do me. That's okay. I've got everything that I need. Now, if I really want something, then I might go for it. But really, I'm good. 
that's your next move you just want to be good a lot of pentacles here scorpio uh you may be starting a new job you may be looking for extra ways of uh extra income uh now we've got three pentacles for your person's desire they actually want to get creative and work on something whether it's with you or just by themselves i feel like you know with the five of cups in reverse i feel as though there's some kind of loss here whether you two have split or you just haven't didn't connect the way that you thought you would um so there's some kind of collaboration here there's also um delays but I feel like a person is taking advice, like their desire is to find, tr like they're trying to find the information that they need um, to get out of a stuck place. I feel like because they're in the juggling, they're feeling like they're having to juggle things. They really want to like find a creative way to get out of that so that they can be their most authentic self and just be, you know, be that queen of wands. Um Meanwhile, you're doing your own thing and you're just like, I got this, I got me, and that's all that matters. Your desire is the nine of wands. You <laughs> your desire is to actually step out of the situation. Like you don't want to be involved in um the situation that is, you know, it puts you on a defense kind of mode and makes you like <laughs> I'm seeing this <laughs> get back Satan um, you know that's what I'm getting from this is like you don't want to have to deal with anybody else's fuckery um, you're quite happy to do your own thing I can smell something burning and I know I had the sage here but it smells like something else from outside maybe um, Scorpio I feel like you know You've done your time. I feel as though you've done your time mulling over something, like something that's made you feel down and out. Um, and you, you know, you know there's two cups. You know there's other options there. And it may be because your person was juggling. Or, you know, your person was having to juggle. And they don't want to juggle. Knight of Swords, truth coming in. Conversation coming in uh, to bring truth to bring acknowledgement um to, you know it's like a fast moving energy nine of cups wish fulfillment Ooh, interesting this is the potential outcome and then there's the five of swords uh five of wands sorry potential outcome is saying that there is a bit of competition when it comes to a wish fulfillment uh like there's extra work having to be having to 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 be executed um, but it's coming in fast like something something that's going to make you really happy is going to come in fast but it's going to create you to have like uh, a sense of oh shit it's going to put you in a, a, it's let me listen to that cat it's going to put you in a, a headspace of fuck I'm going to have to be careful you know it's like there's competition out there how am I going to do this without feeling like there's competition how am I going to get my happy ever after my wish fulfillment um while there's competition out there like so you're having to find Scorpio that you might not get what you want because the simple fact is you, you need to to follow uh the path of what you need um and when you follow the path of what you need you'll get what you want uh when you follow the path of what you want you generally don't get what you need so we have to start off with a, a solid foundation of, of our needs and then our wants will be met if we do the the vice versa oh god what a fucking nightmare what a fucking nightmare street card underneath so yeah so that's telling me you know stay in your power school it's just um i don't know about this person i feel like this person is on their own they're on their own journey um they're trying to find answers they're trying to learn new things they're trying to be creative about getting what they want because they're in a situation where um, they're having to juggle and you're in a situation where you've already got your shit together um but you want to be in a position where you can handle any burdens that come your way you can handle whatever it is that you need to handle um it's kind of like because nine of wands is like the wounded warrior right it's like schools you know 
that you do better when you're hurt. It's fucking true. Scorpio, we do better under pressure, okay? When Scorpio gets backed, you know, your back's against the wall, you've been pushed into a corner, that's when Scorpio stinger comes out. And that's where that's where our power is. It's a, such a fine line. And that's why with breakups and stuff like that, we actually grow. <laughs> I swear that sometimes people are our elevation. Just how like we are catalysts for others, pain is the catalyst for us. And it's so fucked up. But it is what it is, right? Sometimes, you know, it's it's a it's that five of cups energy. It's it's like it really sucks that it didn't work out, but I know that I'm going to, you know, it's going to put a fire under my ass to move forward for myself. That's that pattern. It's a pattern. Okay. What do we got? Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Now, so what about wants and needs? Thing is, if you want it, don't ask for it. Know what you want up here. Know what you want. But when you're 11, 11, when you manifest, manifest your need, not your want. Universe doesn't, you know, it doesn't work that way. Jeez. That flew. <sighs> Too many. <sighs> so I'm going to go over onto TikTok. I'm going to go back to TikTok. I just saw 11.33. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Great. There's nothing like, um, you know, having the same old motherfucking thing all the time. And, you you know, and that's part of the problem, I think, when we stick to what we know, if it ain't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it type of uh, mentality. We never experience the new. We just keep experience the same old, same old. And Scorpio, yes, I know I've only got one, but th th there's a reason for that. It's because it's kind of cool. Um, we have to keep that open mind. That <sighs> So if you always go for the bad boy, uh, it's kind of time to go for the good guy. If you always go for the good guy or girl, maybe it's time to go for the bad guy. Because there's lessons, I just saw 12, 21. There's lessons in everything we do. There's lessons with everybody we meet. So... Scorpio, I feel as though there, there can be a wish fulfillment granted here um, through some kind of quick message or some kind of quick action. And, you know, it's going to create a little bit of conflict in you because you're going to be like, fuck, is this the right time to do this? I mean, Northern Hemisphere, you'll be going in spring. Uh, season, which is kind of cool, do your spring cleaning, get into that mode, get ready for summer, whereas over here in New Zealand, we're getting into autumn, where everything's starting to die, <laughs> and, um, you know, summer's over, uh, so, which is kind of cool, because I don't mind being in the dark, it actually is more comfortable for me, um, it just can get really depressing over time, but I mean, fuck, look at our current situation with COVID, nothing is fun, ga fun and games anyway, it's all shits and giggles. Okay, we've got kisses. Jeez, we've got four sports. We've got kisses. Unconditional loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love, ascending, transcending, obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. We've got karmic relationship, fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. And then we've got hand of cards. Take a chance. Risk. Being strategic. Options. Not showing hand. Gambling. That's what I was just saying, right? We we work better under pressure. Okay. Uh, we need to work, we always work with what we've got. If we want more, it usually takes something um, spectacular to get our shit to move. Uh, we can be quite stuck sometimes, I think, as Scorpios, and that's because we get settled, and we, you know, it's like when we spend time alone, we like to be alone, we, you know, like for me, for instance, just, just my personal experience, after being hurt, and then processing that hurt, I get into a really comfortable space, where I'm just comfortable with myself, and doing me, and all of that, 
and it's not until certain cycles or certain moons or like you know all of that and it starts to fester up that I'm like oh I actually feel kind of needy I want somebody I want to share with somebody but then as soon as you get out there you're like oh no retreat um I don't actually like those people or I don't like people or I don't want to date you know it's like I'm too preoccupied with what I'm doing the thing is keeping an open mind helps to see things that we might want but do we really need it and I'm I'm there right now now with the hand hand of cards it is about taking a risk and I think um we just need to be aware of karmic relationships okay these karmic relationships are the ones that that give us that boost so don't rule it out that you might meet somebody who triggers you. There's a reason for that. They're a lesson or a blessing. Sometimes we need that lesson. But we have to be open to the lesson, okay? We have to be like aware that the lesson is happening to us, not for us. Uh, no, for us, not to us. You know what I mean. Because... Without others triggering our shadow side, we don't evolve. You know, you need we need a little bit bit of pain to to really fucking level up. And that's okay. Let's go with some moonology. Let's have a look. Scorps, I really have missed you. I am doing personal reads still. Actually, I'm doing a day of personal reads. I just did a personal read for a Capricorn. Um which was kinda cool. It was yeah, it was interesting. I can't wait to get the feedback from that. Um, so yeah, let me know. I'm having issues with PayPal. Somebody who um, sent me some money, I took it as a donation and sends, instead of sending it back and I don't know what that person has done because now I've had to re um, get a review of my account but that's okay because these things happen. So please don't send money unless you're going to email me because I will take it as a donation. I've decided. Um, Emotions are running high. That's okay. Scorpio's usually got high emotions. A uh, win-win outcome is forecast. That better have something to do with my PayPal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Meditate and contemplate. If you're good at meditation, good for you. Um... I find meditating uh, to be very difficult for me, so I just do breathing techniques um, when I'm in bed at night, before I go to sleep, and it works wonders, um, and a lot of the contemplation comes from that. I don't know about you, schools, but the last week, the dreams have been very erratic, they've been out the gate, um, dreaming of lots of people that I know in the dreams themselves, and it's just been kind of weird. Um... Yeah, there's been quite a few new people, so that was kind of weird too. But, oh, it is what it is. Anyway, I love you guys. I just I just really wanted to come out. I'm going to shoot over to TikTok. Um, yeah, and I'm just going to get on my grind. But I love you guys. Make sure to comment. Uh, if you're new here, please subscribe. Let me know if this resonated. Even if it didn't, that's fine. Give it a like. Get those algorithms moving. Um, but yeah, I will catch up with you guys the next time I decide to pop in. Or the next time next time I'm grabbed by the hair. I don't know what's going on with my hair, guys. Some kind of punk look, some kind of out of control Elvis hairdo. I don't know. Anyway, I love you. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>